What's up everyone, Max Power here, and we're going to be going over Maridon Hands deck in Pokemon TCG. Now for this one, we actually have Electric Pokemon featured, Mar Maridoc EX and Iron Hands EX. Now why do we want to play this setup? Maridon, of course, with its tandem unit ability, as we may have seen, we're able to bring out two electric basic Pokemon from our deck and put them directly on our bench. So it's kind of like a built-in battle VIP pass uh, into one Pokemon, and you get to do this every turn as long as you have bench space. On top of the fact that it already has its great attack of Photon Bla Blaster for 223 energy, and it doesn't matter that you can't attack with it because you can always retreat it, especially in combination with Beach Court, it's a great uh, pairing. The main attacker, however, featured in this deck is going to be Iron Hands EX, which came out in Paradox Rift uh, last format now because Paldean Faith just came out a week ago. This Pokemon is actually really, really good. With 230 HP as a basic Pokemon, it's got two attacks. The Arm Press for three energy, 160 is not bad. It's able to knock out a lot of stage two Pokemon, some basics, not too many of the EXs. But that's not the main focus for Iron Hands. It's actually Ampu very much. What a name for an attack. It does 120 damage for four energy. You might think, wow, it's a whopping cost, right? However, the trade-off is much more valuable. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you get to take one more prize card. So historically in the in the game, there's always been some sort of an ability or an attack that allows you to alter how many prize cards you can take it's usually one extra one sometimes one less and iron hand brings it in this format this time around in scarlet and violet something very useful we're actually playing two of those and of course some of the usuals we want to rely on as well in this type of setup is raikou v thanks to its fleet foot you get to draw a card when it's in your active spot an extra one and lightning rondo for two energy electric and a colorless you get to do 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon in play on both sides. Also, retreat cost of one. Also, wells, uh, well pairs with Beach Court so that you're able to just pivot a lot easier. What other Pokemon are we playing? Raichu, good for that uh, Big Bang shot with its dynamic spark. You can knock out anything in the game as long as you have six, uh, five or six energy on your board. You can do just that. We are relying on... Marie and Flaffy, so we can reaccelerate energy from the discard pile. Very useful in this deck, even though it is going to be rotating sometime in April, I believe. So it really only has two months left. Uh, for that reason, we're playing cards like uh, XP Share, because when that active Pokemon is knocked out, it gets to uh, contribute an energy Pokemon to an energy card to one of the Pokemon that is having XP Share on as a tool. So you get to recycle some of those energies, re, uh, recycle them literally really, and reuse it over and over again. What other uh, cards are we playing here? We're playing Luminion one copy in order to fetch us out supporters when we play it from our hand, can't be played directly from the deck. We are also playing Zapdos from Pokemon Go. This will not rotate since it has regulation F mark, so we still get to keep it past the next format. But its lightning symbol allows us to do 10 more damage for any electric basic Pokemon's attack, and all of our attackers are electric basic Pokemon. The ones that aren't are Mew EX, but it's useful because of its restart ability. You get to draw cards until you have three in your hand. Very useful when you're just cycling through your hands. You're going to be using a lot of your cards typically. And genome hacking for three colorless, you get to choose one of your opponent's attacks and use it as this one. Very useful against Giratina, anything that's hard hitting. Uh, you get to basically slap them back, set that up, and a lot of times it could be like your cleanup hitter. Squawk Ability EX. Why are we playing two copies of these? Uh, Squawk and Seize, it's like a built-in professor's research. That's probably the best way to describe it. You get to drop your hand and draw six more cards. As long as you use this in the first turn of, of your game, then you have extra draw power. The reason we want to get to that is because... We are going to be playing cards like Peony, which means, which allows us to discard our hand and search for up to two trainer cards, put them in our hand. It could be two electric generators to accelerate energy. It could be a Pokemon catcher, which lately has been seeing a lot of play in this particular deck. Since you can fetch it out, that's an extra dusting effect. Or you can get stuff like Escape Rope, Lost Vacuum, anything like that. We are playing three Nest Ball and four Ultra Ball just to get our Pokemon out there and set up much easier. We mentioned the Beach Court to help pivot our Pokemon with one less cost. 
and we'll also play one copy of Path to the Peak. This deck synchronizes very well with copies of Path, with copies of Beach Core. You can play around with three Beach Core, you can play around with three or four Path. Depending on what the meta is looking like, that's how you want to respond. Uh, and we're also playing Spirit Tune just to kind of turn off abilities from Pokemon V cards that you don't want to have abilities. This is strong against Mew. This is strong against opposing Pokemon that have really good abilities like another Raikou V and even Luminion. They play it, they can't use it. That's very useful for you, especially in the late game. What other supporters are we playing? Well, we're playing one copy of Iona. You could bump it up to two, but we only had room for one just for that hand refreshing. Two bosses orders as well as one copy of Arvin. You could probably play more copies of Arvin because it does help you search for an item and a Pokemon tool. But for the most part, we're gonna be relying on Peony more than anything. The Arvin is just kind of like having like an extra mini Peony if we need to search out another item card. Last but not least, we're playing 16 electric energy and one copy of four seal stone to help us get any one card from the deck at will. And we can also search this out with Arvin aforementioned. So this is the this is the deck guys. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're gonna be play testing it a little bit, but it has seen a lot of success. There are different iterations of Maridon. They've all been pretty successful. We're using the Iron Hands version and let's see how it goes. If you guys are enjoying the content, please let me know. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment in the video, and let me know how you're playing Maridon EX. So we're opening up with a few good Pokemon. Okay, who do we want to start with? I guess let's go with Squawk, Raichu, Zapdos, we got the whole squad here, they have to mulligan, oh, this looks like a mirror match, ladies and gentlemen, now our opponent is going first, we have two peony in our hand, Yep, it is a version of the mirror match. So the good thing is they can't attack first turn, but we do have to get Squawk ability out of the active. Hopefully we can get a tandem unit out, but so far I do not see it. And I think our best bet's going to be either Raikou or Maridon. Not so much uh, Iron Hands. We could set it up, but... Not just yet. Bravery Charm. We can always take that off with our Lost Vacuum. Right on. They've got a full bench. All right. The squad is here. Okay, so we do want to play Spirit Tomb. I think we're going to have to because we can shut off their Reiku and we don't really have anything else we can play. So, I am going to attach here. I didn't have to. I could just escape rope. I am going to escape rope. Yeah, I think that's good. If they have to get their right, yep, we're going to go right you, right you. Okay. We will play Spiritum. And I'm going to Peony, even though it might not be the best idea to use it right now. I think I should probably Squawk first to draw cards, and then Peony. I don't think we're going to be having much success if we play Peony right now. So that's why I'm throwing these supporters away. That's better. We got the Tandem Unit. Who do we bring out? I think right now it makes most sense to bring out Raikou first. Okay. Uh, we could path, but we don't have to because Raikou's ability is shut off. Now let's try to electric generator. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, let's do that. It has to be to your bench, your bench. So let's set up Raikou now. Perfect. 
We don't need Ultra Ball. We could use Pass, but I don't know that we want to do that currently. That's going to be a pain. And then we could, well, we do Squawk and Seize already. So we're going to go, hold, go ahead and hold the hand. Let us pass. And there's not much else our opponent can do. They can punch into the Raichu, but they don't have that much energy. We have some energy of our own. I think next turn we go in with Raikou itself, start swinging. We got to find a way to get that Bravery Charm off, and we do. He's attacking. And that's what he did. Okay. So that's not bad, but he's already wasted four energy by doing so. Let's go in with the Fleet Foot. I'm going to try to see if I can bring out my Mareep. Now, what do we want to do here? Let's Flea Foot. Well, we can't because of Spiritomb. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> Let's load up Maridon, our second attacker. We already can't use ability, so I can hold on to path. I don't need to worry too much about that. I can Ultra Ball next turn for Flaffy. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's just swing. So at this point, we're trading prize cards. Nothing too crazy. You do get to see pretty much what the deck does. We haven't been showcasing uh, Iron Hands, but even though our opponent does have two one prizers that are pretty weak, more than likely, they're not going to be promoting them. And unless we have a gusting ability, we're not going to waste our search on those just yet. It doesn't make sense to. We could if we happen to have everything in the hand later on, for sure, but not quite yet. If I had a boss or something like that right now, I can probably go for the Raikou or the Maridon and just knock them out. And that way we get ahead on price trade. Uh, but right now we're actually evenly tied. And Iono refreshes the hand. Not too bad. We both get four. There's the boss. There's the vacuum. That's amazing, actually. <laughs> now, what will our opponent do? They don't have enough energy because they have to manually attach. They don't have any generators. I think we're taking a knockout, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing 230, that's perfect. So I will lost vacuum, get the squawk away because I don't need it. And I am just going to attack, that's it. Lightning round though for 230. Now it's doing an extra 10 damage like we said earlier because of the Zapdos on the bench. So that's good, we've got two beach core, we got Pokemon catcher. We have two ways to gust. We either Pokemon Catcher if needed, or we boss his orders if that doesn't work. So honestly, I think we are cooking and we're about to finish. Let me know what you guys think. This is, might be a quick game. It was a little quicker than I thought, but hey, it's a mirror match. You get to see basically how the deck plays out and it's in a different form. I've almost never seen Flying Entry Halucha played in this deck, but it's one way to do it. Not a big deal. Now, funny enough, the Spirit Tomb has actually been a little bit annoying. It's not bad. It's a trade-off because if it, it's slowing us down, but it's also slowing our opponent down. They are still able to use EX abilities like Miraidon's Tandem Unit. I could have always played Path earlier, but I didn't see the need to because both benches were already full. And there wasn't really any other abilities to have to um, account for. So, it is time. Let's Pokemon Catcher. Flip that coin. I'm not a fan of coin flip cards, but whatever. So remember, we are doing 230, so let's boss. Now let's go for the Maride on the big gold boy. And we just finished the game. GG's. So that is pretty much it.